good morning dear students yesterday's class we have seen about the government the meaning of government and its functions and we have seen the levels of government there were the three levels national or center state and local in today's class we will see the laws and people so let's see at each level of the government a government performs its functions by making and enforcing laws for example in order to ensure the safety of the people on the roads there is a law that all people driving a car must wear their seat belts as a means to make people obey these laws nobody caught violating the laws law is penalized the the enforcement of laws in is important as without the enforcement laws would not be of much use the people of a country also play a vital role in the in the enforcement of laws in the citizens if the citizens of a country feel that a particular law is not being followed they are entitled to go to the court for example the law of the country prohibits discrimination on the basis of caste class or gender thus if a person is discriminated on the on this grounds they can go to the court to seek justice see the laws and people laws we know why the rules and regulations are made so when we follow the rules and regulations we uh, we do all the things in proper way like an, one example is given the person people those who drive the cars they should wear their seat belts because it is for the safety and it is uh, for when nobody uh, when anybody is there that who don't follow the this uh, rules uh, obey the rules they will be punished like uh, we know that uh, without helmet is going on the road uh, police caught us and they charge the fine same thing so the, there are the other another laws are they are they are there like the discrimination age basis of the caste class or gender alag alag tarike se jo discrimination ke hai agar aisa kahi paya jata hai to kya hota hai we are the we can go to the court for the judgment so there are the laws for the every entire the country now forms of the government government a government can be of different types such as democracy and monarchy depending upon who gives the government the power to make the, the make and enforce law to do prakar ki government ke bare mein bataya gaya hai democracy and monarchy wo depend karta hai hum kisko vote karke jitate hain aur kis prakar ka power hai log kis prakar ki government ko date hain so first is the democracy in a democracy the people of the country hold the real power to run the government however they do not participate directly in the process instead they elect their representatives to form the government these representatives make laws on behalf of the people behalf of the people and the representatives the representatives are re answerable to the people for their decisions and actions due to the representatives the nature of this government is called a representative democracy so democracy means what we the in the democracy government what happened all the powers lies in the hands of the people logo ke haathon mein hi power hota hai wo directly involved government mein nahi ho sakte lekin uske badle mein क्या करते हैं वोट देके अपना एक उम्मीदवार चुन के वो रखते हैं ताकि उनकी जो भी समस्याएं वो सब गवर्नमेंट तक पहुंचे और गवर्नमेंट के जो भी पॉलिसीज हो वो लोगों तक पहुंचे और लोगों के लिए जो भी ज़रूरत के कार्य करने हैं वो रिप्रेजेंटेटिव लाइक सरपंच लाइक इन द विलेज सरपंच सरपंच आर देयर सो दे लुक आफ्टर द नीड्स ऑफ द विलेज लाइक सिटीज सिटीज इन द सिटीज हु सीज द Uh, this one uh, many uh, this uh, people are uh, political people are there those who win the uh, elections like state is look after by the cm 
मुख्यमंत्री के सॉरी चीफ मुख्यमंत्री के द्वारा देखा जाता है ना एंड इन द लाइक दैट सो रिप्रेजेंटेटिव इज नॉन एज द लाइक आवर चीफ मिनिस्टर इज द अशोक गहलोत ही लुक्स आफ्टर द ऑल द स्टेट फुल स्टेट ऑफ राजस्थान सो ही इज द रिप्रेजेंटेटिव फॉर अस एंड ही हैज द डिफरेंट लीडर्स इन द ऑल द डिस्ट्रिक्स डिस्ट्रिक्स वाइज डिफरेंट लीडर्स आर देयर डिफरेंट विलेज वाइज लीडर्स आर देयर दे आर रिप्रेजेंटेटिव वी गिव द वोट्स एंड वी मेक दैम टू वर्क फॉर अस नाउ नेक्स्ट इज द मोनार्की इन अ मोनार्की अ किंग और क्वीन मोनार्क होल्ड्स द पावर टू मेक डिसीजंस एंड एनफोर्स देम द मोनार्क में कंसल्ट अ ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल टू डिस्कस मैटर्स हाउ एवर द फाइनल डिसीजंस मेकिंग पावर लाइज विद द मोनार्क ऑल्सो द मोनार्क डज नॉट स्टैंड अकाउंटेबल टू द पीपल फॉर दियर डिसीजंस एंड एक्शंस सी इन डेमोक्रेसी में अगर कोई भी नियम वगैरह बनाए तो उसका जो भी आंसरेबल होगा वो सब रिप्रेजेंटेटिव लेकिन मोनार्की में क्या है किंग और क्वीन के द्वारा जो पावर होल्ड किया जाता है वही उनके पास पूरा पावर होता है वही पूरे देश को चलाते हैं और उनके पास ही सारे डिसीजन मेकिंग पावर होते हैं इवन दे कैन डिस्कस विद अ ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल्स दोस हु कैन दोस हु हैव द एबिलिटी टू मेक गिव द सम गुड थिंग्स दैट वाट वी दी हैव टू डू बट वेन समथिंग हैपन्स द किंग और क्वीन द मोनार्क इज नॉट आंसरेबल अकाउंटेबल टू द पीपल फॉर दियर डिसीजंस एंड एक्शंस कुछ भी होगा तो उसका आंसर मोनार्क यानी किंग और राजा रानी जो भी है वो उसके आंसरेबल नहीं होगा नाउ नेक्स्ट इज द यूनिवर्सल अडल्ट फ्रांसिस फ्रांसिस डेमोक्रेसी इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्न वेन पीपल इलेक्ट द रिप्रेजेंटेटिव बाय वोटिंग इन द इलेक्शंस The elected representatives then make and enforce laws on behalf of the citizens of the country. However, a government cannot call itself a democracy it, uh, if it does not provide the right to vote to the all citizens who are 18 years of age or above in the country. The right to vote that all adult citizens of a country holds is called the universal adult Francis. इट मीन्स वाट यूनिवर्सल अडर फ्रांसिस इज द डेमोक्रेसी ऑफ अ गवर्नमेंट वेर पीपल इलेक्ट देयर रिप्रेजेंट दो सो पर्सन दो सो आर हैविंग दो सो आर अबाउ द एटीन लाइक एटीन ईयर्स ओल्ड दे आर अलाउड टू वोट द वोट इन द इलेक्शंस सो दे इट इज नोन एज द यूनिवर्सल अडर फ्रांसिस अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट एक्ट ऑल द एटीन ईयर्स गर्ल्स और बॉयज दे आर अलाउड टू वोट दियर कास्ट दियर वोट टू एनी Uh, representatives in india it was a long struggle to provide all citizens of country the right to elect their representatives during the british rule the british discouraged the participation of indians in the government of the country governance of the country only the men with wealth were allowed to participate in election whereas women the uh, women the poor and the people who had no property were not allowed to cast their votes when india attained independence the right to vote was extended to all sections of the society so in the british government time what happened they were people were not allowed indians were not allowed to participate in the governance like those who are well wealth those who are rich people they are allowed to participate in them. they were not appreciated those who are poor those who are not having any property even uh, women are also not allowed to uh, vote cast their votes what so it was a big struggle after the independence all are equal to give the votes those who are having uh, those who are 18 years so this is the uh, we have seen about the roles and functions of a government i hope you have understand and we will see the next chapter in next class thank you have a good day